The Wicker Man. Yeah, your thoughts on that. Well, I never called it a horror movie. I, I, yeah, I, Some journalists said it was the Citizen Kane of horror movies. <laughs> And Anthony Schaffer, who wrote it, and Robin Hardy, who directed it, and I and the other people who were in it, we didn't think that was the right word to use. It's a brilliant film. A brilliant film. But I don't know how much you know about the history of that film. Do you know much about the history of the making of the film? You don't. Have any of you ever read a magazine called Cine Fantastique? Yes. Have you read the story about the making of The Wicker Man? No. You haven't? It's the whole, ma whole magazine. Oh, I see. Well, I'm not going to go into the whole story, it's too complicated, but uh, we made the movie. Remarkable film. Remarkable film. Brilliantly written. And the part was written for me, which doesn't happen very often. Schaffer wrote it for me, personally. I was very happy to be in it. It's a remarkable film, and it's a cult film, still all over the world. They're talking about remaking it in America with Nicolas Cage. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that's what Universal says. They're going to remake the movie, but I don't know what they're going to do. And somebody said they'd seen on the internet that they wanted me in the film. I thought, well, what do I play? Because if this is an American story, and he's an American, obviously, and everybody else is American, well, I can play Americans. But what would I do in the story? I couldn't play Lord Summerall, obviously. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. But when the film was finished, and I saw it, I thought there was an enormous amount of film missing. I would think at least 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, I saw it with my agent and my wife in British Lab Protection Room in London in 1973. And we went upstairs and we saw the head of British Lab, there was a man called Michael Dealey. And he said, I said, thank you very much for showing us the film, Michael and so on. He said, what did you think of it? And I said, well, I think it's damn good. And, and my agent said, I think it's a tremendous film. And Michael Dealey said, I think it's one of the ten worst films I've ever seen. <laughs> I didn't agree. So when I saw it, I spoke to the producer, Peter Snell, I spoke to the director, Robin Hardy, and I spoke to the editor, I spoke to Anthony Schaffer, and I said, let's try and find the negative. And what we call the outtakes, you know, the bits you don't use, but you print them. Never been seen, again, never. Never been seen, we couldn't find it. And that's 30 years ago. Nearly. I still believe it exists somewhere in Cairns with no, no name. I, but I still believe that. But nobody's ever seen it since. So we couldn't re-cut it, re-edit it, which is what I wanted to do. It would have been ten times as good. Does that answer your question? <laughs>